Hey, and welcome back to... Who needs an X-Pan when you've got a Lomo Sprocket Rocket? The Lomo Sprocket Rocket is a panoramic point-and-shoot. Um, you know, let's just get right into it. Let's go to the abandoned trailer park and some other stuff from that day. So where were we again? Please, please don't, please don't, please don't click off the video. I'm trying my best. The Lamography Sprocket Rocket is a panoramic point and shoot film camera by, you guessed it, Lamography. It takes up a whole two frames, like an X-Pan. So it's full panoramic, not any of this cropped bullshit like some panoramic point and shoots. It's a full, one by three ratio, or if you want to get technical, um, 24 millimeter by 65 millimeter. Tell, tell me about it. Um, no. The Lomography Sprocket Rocket is full of features. You've got a whole two shutter speeds, N or B, which as I like to call one one hundredth of a second or bulb, or, uh, and for an aperture, you've got a sun and a cloud, which I better like, um, what was it again? F10.8, not 11, 10.8, and 16. I hate the shutter speed switch. It is right next to the shutter release, and sometimes you accidentally bump it, and it will go from, you know, one one hundredth to bulb, and you know, that's your full shutter. And so you go unless you go like really quick, you're you're gonna get blurry photos. So up to this point, I've only shot black and white film with it, uh, just because of the latitude. You know, you got two shutter speeds and. Two apertures, so you know, I want latitude is very nice, especially with it. This thing works very well with 400 speed, 400 ISO, black and white film. So, but I thought, hey, don't be a loser, try it with color, and so that's what I did. Phenomenal plastic. Get it? Yeah. I indeed did. So the camera is held by two clips on the back, which with the smallest bump comes right off. So as you might have seen in the video, it is it's always taped if it's got filled inside. There's no indicator on this thing to tell you if you've taken the shot yet. Um, so I like to go wind after shooting on the back, uh, but I like to break the rules and regulations occasionally. The body is 99% plastic, including the lens. It's not super sharp, but it's definitely got a fun look to it. Also going back to the limited settings, it is a zone focusing camera, which most people know with the Holga cameras. but the Lomo is a 
lot simpler. You have uh, 0.6 to 1 meter and 1 meter to infinity. So unless you're right up in someone's junk, you almost just leave it at infinity. And if you're stupid like me, it's 2 to 3 feet or 3 feet to infinity. A good rule of thumb is if you can't touch it, leave it at infinity. So, let's review this bad boy instead of just spouting information. It's not an X-Pan. It will never be an X-Pan. This thing does not cost nearly as much as an X-Pan. Is this like even related to an X-Pan? No. The only thing it's got in common is its double frame size. But, you know, oh my gosh, it's not an X-Pan. X-Pans cost thousands of dollars. If you're like me and only want to shoot the occasional panoramic photo, this thing is worth it. It's fun. It's worth having if you've got an extra 70 bucks lying around. And you know, you want to have fun every now and then. Mix it up. Which some of you need to mix it up. In my opinion, it's fun. If you take the occasional panoramic photos or have the, the brilliant itch too, it's fun. You don't need to invest in an X-Pan. You're obviously not going to get X-Pan quality but how many cameras are you going to find under $100 that take up double frames? And you can, you know, find these for around like 70 to 100 bucks. So it's definitely cheaper than an X-Pan. There is really not a whole lot left to say. Um, go shooting, form your own opinions. This video is sponsored by Brooktree Film Lab. Brooktree has an ever-rotating catalog of film with both film stocks coming and going. With a wide range of development choices and scan sizes, you can get anything developed at any size you need. Brooktree has a low development cost and returns high quality work. One of my favorite things that has come out of Brooktree is the Film of the Month Club. With one low price, you get a random film stock to try, but it also includes shipping, developing, and scanning. Don't forget that you get one point for every dollar you spend. You can exchange these points for a nice discount on your order. Make sure to use the code CLEARLY10 to receive 10% off your next film development order.